It's something that we've taken a look at quite a few times is the overcrowding in the Bannock County Jail. The county is still working through different avenues to get an expansion funded. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Paul Beam spoke with the Bannock County Sheriff to get a look into what the future of the jail might look like. The jail is currently well over capacity. 18 inmates are housed in other facilities with others sleeping on the floor. It showed through earlier this year when an inmate broke a fire sprinkler pipe and several inmates flooded their toilets and flooded the facility. There is a uh, constitutional mem uh, amendment that says cruel and unusual and what they've looked at uh, when I have people laying on the floor, when I have so many inmates to one bathroom. Uh, those type of things are what they look at and we're in violation of those now. But they are trying to get something done. Two bonds have been offered on ballot, but both failed, the latest by a fraction of a percent. On another front, the federal courthouse also houses criminals in the jail, and the county was working out a deal with the U.S. Marshals, which would lighten the load on the price of the expansion. A pretty good size. They were willing to come up with as much as uh, $12 million towards a $26 million facility. But the uh, president has put a hold on all of those. Uh, their detention budget is being held for their, most of the immigrants that are, they're expecting to come across. And so it's frozen is their federal term. Not being able to count on that money means they are out of options for now. Unfortunately, if the ACLU gets involved, they may be pending federal litigation. If that happens, they force the county to build the jail under a dissent decree and demand the levies to pay for it. It's a worst case scenario. It's where the court, federal court will say you're in violation and so we're going to order you to get into violation. Don't care what your state levies are. Bannock County will build and you'll build it this way to these standards and we will assign people to that you will pay for uh, to make sure that it gets done. Reporting from Pocatello, I'm Paul Beam, KPBI News. It works for you. Another issue that makes this worse is the planned expansion in the Pocatello area that may bring as many as 6,000 new people to the area, which will stretch the jail even thinner.